Do, 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 do. So hopefully you're listening. The advantage here is that we can start cube bidding at the three level. There's no need for South to start leaping around in spades to show their strength. Because one spade is game forcing, two spades simply agree spades uh, without the need to, to leap about. And so North can immediately start Q bidding at the three level. So three hearts denies a club or a dam in control. Four club shows the club control. Four heart shows the second round control of hearts. Um, South has implied a Dharma in control when they bid four clubs, otherwise they would just sign off in four hearts if they had no Dharma in control. Try, uh, hang on. Okay. Um, so I was just going, just running through the sequence. Uh, so South knows that North has the stiff ace of hearts because they can't have the king of hearts. And so therefore, this hand is likely to be fitting very nicely. If uh, South, sorry, if North doesn't have a club control or a diamond control, the likelihood is that they are 4-3 uh, in those suits. Might be 5-2, I suppose. Um, but either way, South can tell that the hand is fitting really well. Even if North has three small diamonds, one of those is going to go away on the King of Hearts. And so six spades, you can tell, is a really good bet here. The nice thing is, is that we've achieved this uh, contract very effortlessly using precision simply because we've we've been able to use the space over two spades to our advantage whereas if south has to start leaping around in spades in order to um, you know if it if it starts off if you're playing standard American or two over one south's probably going to open one diamond north bids one spade and South immediately has to either splinter in clubs or leap about with three spades or four spades even um, just to show that they've got a decent hand. Whereas in precision, we've got a game forcing sequence at the one level and we've got trumps agreed and able to start Q bidding at the three level over two spades. Okay. Um, Hello, people. That's my wife, by the way. My Esther there. Yep. Hello, my Esther. Roger there. Mm. Lots of people here. Hi, Roger. Roger says hi. And Esther. You want me to name me? No, oh, okay.
Yes, open it, Naomi, by all means. So, so here, I, um, we'll get obviously on to more specifics in uh, a few weeks' time when we look at two clubs. But we tend to only open two clubs with a fairly reasonable club suit. Um, we won't open two clubs with sort of jack nine to six. Uh, so here, um, three no trumps is a, a pretty reasonable um, contract to get into, even though we've only got 23 points between the two hands. Uh, North can be fairly sure that we're probably running six club tricks. They've got well diamonds well stop, which is the only suit that uh, South can't stop, and North has help in the other two. So the chances of not being able to get um, a ninth trick somewhere is very slim. Again, don't worry about the specifics of the bidding sequence. Uh, we'll cover this. I'm just trying to give you a flavour here. The point there is that even though South has opened two clubs, if North is going to do anything other than pass over two clubs, the emphasis is normally on trying to play somewhere else. Uh, maybe in Hearts if South has four hearts and five clubs or in no trumps if we can stand it and if it uh, turns out that South can't stop spades for example then North will quite happily just convert to four clubs over if they bid three spades over three damage so they haven't got a spade stop um, So two diamonds is not 11 to 15 with a singleton diamond and 4441 shape. Um, OCP is one of the systems that absorbs that into the one diamond opening. So you can open one diamond with a singleton diamond. Uh, and two diamonds we use for 16, basically 16 plus hands, although with an upper limit of 23, with any 4441 shape. Two hearts and two spades are weak twos, just the same. But two no trumps is radically different. Uh, it's a multi-style bid that's either weak with the minors, intermediate with both majors, or a normal club preempt. Uh, and again, we'll we'll come to that later in the series. Moving on from two no trumps. So because the club preempt is in with the two no trump opening, three clubs is available for, uh, it's basically a Roman three clubs with uh, six card clubs and an unspecified four card major. And we do that to take a little bit of pressure off the two club opening, um, particularly when there's a two diamond response. Uh, otherwise there's it's a little bit overburdened with possible responses over two clubs, two diamonds. So above three no trumps. So OCP uses uh, what you may know of as Namyats. So four clubs and four diamonds are good four level preempts in hearts where uh, opener might be interested in a slam if uh, responders got a pretty good hand. 
and four hearts and four spades are poor four level preempts in a major um, where responders got to be pretty strong before they think about pushing on over that typically um, the four clubs and four diamond bids have an outside ace and uh, possibly another four card suit whereas the four hearts and four spade bids don't you'll find all the way through OCP um, that we make special provision uh, all the time for 444 one shape hands because they always cause a problem for precision uh, um, two clubs guarantees a five card suit at least one heart and one spade guarantee five card suit so if you've got 444 one you're not balanced and you haven't got a five card suit you've got a problem similarly in responding to one club all of the suit bids show uh, five card suits all the suit positive responses show five card suits and uh, all of the rebids over one club one diamond promise five card suits that's why four 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 one hands really cause precision a problem if you don't make special provision for them there's a lot of different shape hands that can open two clubs um, and uh, the responses over two clubs two diamonds can get a little bit overloaded or ambiguous uh, if we don't do that that's why so again we'll come to the Cambridge Heart Complex when we look at the one club opening um, but basically um, the simple system can use any uh, can show any balanced range from 19 high card points or sorry from 16 high card points right up to um, 28 to 29 balanced the complex system can show right up to 33 balanced in two card ranges two point ranges um, so it's very very precise The two no trump opening if you're going to play in ACBL land uh, you will have to modify uh, because ACBL and probably the EBU as well I'm not sure uh, won't like a multi style two diamond bid um, but that's fairly easily done you can just strip out um, the intermediate hands with both majors and the club preempt go back to a three clubs club preempt and just use the two no trump opening effectively is unusual weak with both minors so OCP doesn't use a normal 13 to 15 point one no trump except when we're vulnerable when we're not vulnerable um, our opening one no trump is 10 to 12 um, the advantage of that is that it's very preemptive and it tends to put ops on the back foot uh, because in our experience people don't spend as much time worrying about the real nitty-gritty of their defense to one no trump and most of them assume that everybody's going to use a strong no trump and so they start using things like brosel and don't which don't have a penalty double available of one no trump um, because it shows a 
single suited hand and so when they do have you know 16 count balanced and we open a 10 to 12 one no trump they don't even have a penalty double available um, and we have a run out available just in case they do any questions Just show you another hand. Um, this is a a one diamond opening. The one diamond opening in precision is uh, um, what's best described as nebulous because initially it doesn't actually promise anything in particular. It's more about it's a hand that's denying certain things. Um, So, so the one diamond opening in OCP denies having a five card major. It denies having a six card club suit unless it's very weak. Um, at this vulnerability, it denies being 13 to 15 balanced. So it, it says a lot of things about what it can't have, but it doesn't actually promise it anything in particular. It doesn't have to have a diamond suit, um, certainly not five card diamonds. Uh, and indeed might be 4414 with a singleton diamond if they're 11 to 15. And we're quite okay with uh, opening one diamond with a singleton diamond because we've got the system that will normally cope with that. So two hearts is, is a reverse. Uh, we don't play reverses as forcing. Um, whereas if you're playing two over one or standard American, probably the two heart bid here will be forcing for one round. Um, it doesn't have to be in precision because north is immediately limited to 15 high card points and south doesn't have to have more than eight to bid one spade. Uh, indeed, they might have less. We play Lebensol uh, over a reverse in OCP. Um, so here, if South just wanted to give preference to Diamonds, they could bid two no trumps, which would be Lebensol. North would bid three clubs forced and now south could show a hand that just wanted to play in three diamonds by bidding three diamonds but here this is a this is a strong a stronger bid uh, it's a forward going bid because it's a fast three diamonds um, so it simply agrees diamonds and suggests that we go further So North shows here a, th a three card, might even be four card, but certainly a three card fragment. Um, so he's effectively showing a club shortage. Um, we have now that the North has shown a club shortage. This is our version of Roman key card. We don't use Roman key card Blackwood ever in OCP um, so this is our equivalent which is an asking bid called beta 
asking in North's known short suit. So in, in OCP, uh, we don't think in terms so much of aces and kings, we think about controls. And an ace is two controls and a king is one control. So if you look at the north hand, you can see that uh, the north hand contains four controls. And the responses over four clubs are stepped. So four diamonds would show naught to two controls. Four hearts would show exactly three. And four spades shows exactly four. So, uh, essentially, from South's point of view, North either has two aces or an ace and two kings. Can't possibly have four kings because South's got one of them. And also, South knows that North has a singleton club. And one of those kings will not be the singleton king of clubs because we don't count singleton kings as controls. Not unless South has shown length and strength in that suit already. So essentially, South can tell that North's got a singleton club, uh, the ace of diamonds, the king of hearts, the king of spades. And we also know they've got three spades, four hearts, and five diamonds, possibly six diamonds, and an upper range hand. So typically, given that we're playing with a 30 point deck here, we know that it's possible, I suppose, that South might have the stiff ace of clubs, but they're perhaps less likely to reverse if that's four of their points. Um, and they would count the stiff ace of clubs as, as full value, but it does reduce the playing strength of their hand. So typically, North is likely to have exactly the hand that they actually do have. They're probably going to have ace queen to five diamonds, or maybe ace to five diamonds, king queen jack of hearts and four hearts, and king to three spades. They might have the Queen of Spades rather than the Queen of Diamonds or the Queen of Hearts. But uh, typically, South's got a pretty good idea here now what North has. Because we've agreed Diamonds and we've established North's controls, we now have uh, another asking bit available, which is finding out exactly uh, what degree of control partner has in a particular side suit. We can only do this once we've agreed trumps. So five hearts here is an asking bid called Epsilon which says what degree of control do you have in hearts? Oops. Sorry, too many passes. And that effectively means that North cannot have um, nothing in hearts and the stiff ace of diamonds. So now they must have the Ace of Diamonds and the two major suit kings. And also, because they've already shown four card hearts with the two heart bid, we know they've got King Queen to four di King Queen to four hearts. And that's enough. We know we've got uh, the Ace of Clubs missing.
happily playing six diamonds. Uh, we'll give them that trick. No, I'm not saying that that one second. Welcome to John Lute, author of a magnificent three-volume tome on OCP. Uh, John holds uh, very well attended and very efficient practices on a Sunday night, which are usually targeting whatever I've been covering on the Saturday. Okay, uh, just try something different if it's not working. That's, that's the simple answer. Um, so John's uh, Sunday night practices are really good um, Roger might I'm not sure did you and John sort this out Roger who's going to start off on a Sunday night uh, it's possible that Roger will be doing the Sunday nights to start with um, if Sunday nights are John's then Roger very often does one on a Thursday is it Roger Anyway, the, the OCP website, the, uh, uh, the practices are normally listed on the uh, OCP website. If you look on the, under the learn bit of the menu, you'll see OCP practices and they're all scheduled on there. So at the moment, Roger on Thursdays and John on Sundays may yes there may not be one tomorrow because there's nothing particular that I'm teaching you today apart from giving you a flavor of uh, OCP um, uh, may sometimes does one on the Monday I'm not sure if she's doing that at the moment um, she's not around but uh, um, she sometimes does an open just general practice on a Monday uh, and sometimes I do odd midweek sessions myself, um, but not certainly at the start of the season. Right, where were we up to? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to repeat one thing that I said before. Okay, so we have a lot more inquiry bids, um, forcing inquiries with set responses um, than normal precision does. Um, normal precision has the two diamond response to the two club opening, and that's about it. Um, OCP has a lot more. We use fit showing jump, jump shifts and mini splinters over major shoot openings, so the jump shifts over major shoot openings are not game forcing they're invitational uh, if ops double that's number seven if ops double our major suit openings we use something called motor uh, which I might give you an example of in a minute because it's quite useful uh, we use 11 sol and transfer 11 sol extensively throughout the whole system 
um, we make a lot of use of that and it's a, a very great benefit to us and we make comprehensive use of an extended and expanded set of super precision asking bids including some asking bids that normal super precision doesn't have and we make lastly a very specific provision for when we have interference over our asking bid sequences to try and reclaim space lost to interference uh, as I said right at the start OCP has never stopped being developed since the uh, early 1980s um, there's been very very few periods where we've not been refining it um, initially it was Jason Hackett and me working on it but once I moved to BBO and started teaching here um, the systems undergone a fair amount of change since then so it's constantly under consideration and under development and continually keeps on improving as we tweak things here and there so at the moment um, the lessons start at 9 p.m. UTC which is 10 p.m. in the UK at the moment and 5 p.m. in New York. Uh, once daylight savings in America and Europe finishes towards the end of October, um, it's still at 9 p.m. UTC, but it becomes 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9 p.m. also in the UK if you're not in either of those kinds of locations you'll just have to look up if you look up world time uh, on Google uh, you'll find uh, what UTC is in relation to yourself Yes, if you're going to uh, register on the OCP site, you don't have to. But if you are going to register, please use your BBO nickname exactly as it is on BBO, um, just so that I recognize you. Um, we have a discussion forum accessible via the website or that uh, link that I've given there. Uh, the discussion forum is a really useful um, thing it's quite busy unlike the IAC one uh, we get quite a lot of posts every day and it's a really if you are intent on learning OCP it's a really valuable really um, all right well just I don't understand oh it's probably because I put a the full stop at the end uh, Charlene sorry uh, if you just take the the dot just just take the dot away after PHP uh, or is it a comma um, and then it should be fine but if you if you go onto the OCP website there's a link to the forum available on the front page of that um, but like I said, if you're intent on learning OCP, that's a really good uh, utility and you'll find a lot of stuff. Okay, so in addition to the description of OCP that you can find um, during these lessons and on the OCP website, uh, there are also some documents that you can download from the website uh, and there's also full disclosure convention cards that you can download from there I have to say the downloadable documents and the full disclosure cards are not immediately updated if the system changes at all 
notification of any changes to the system is made fairly exhaustively via the discussion forum and it's always detailed uh, on the website there's sometimes a bit of a delay before there's any change in the downloadable documents and the full disclosure cards because it's a lot more work for me especially the full disclosure cards and more on full disclosure in a minute we we used to have a mentoring system um, available details of which are on the website it's not really operating at the moment because we didn't have enough mentors and uh, um, we've tended to move away from um, practices run by particular mentors uh, instead now we've moved more to a system of general practices that John and Roger run um, but uh, if you look on the website and you look at the mentoring page you will see um, details of who the erstwhile mentors are uh, and I suggest that you add them as friends on BBO because any of them will be able to help you if you've got a query but as I said near the beginning uh, if you do have any questions about OCP please feel free to ask them on the discussion forum or to email me um, or like I said just befriend any of the mentors and ask them on BBO you'll quite often indeed if you add all of those mentors as friends um, uh, you will find people that you recognize from these sessions uh, playing on on BBO uh, at the moment I'm playing quite frequently on bridge base and I'm normally playing OCP with somebody uh, please feel free to commit to them and ask questions um, because they're always happy to uh, assist uh, watching people play this system is a really good way to to learn to start with is just to to watch people using it um, some of the bids may not make much sense because they may be parts of the system that we haven't actually got to yet but then you can go and look it up on the website and uh, find out more I can't emphasize this enough it really helps if you learn OCP as a partnership uh, but it's really quite difficult to to um, to learn OCP just as a student if you can find somebody who's also starting to learn who's at about the same level of growth in the system and level of knowledge as you are you can practice together you can practice bidding together um, and you can grow and help each other as you go on I have to say the partnership bidding tables on bridge base are such a good facility and uh, Roger Fister's AA bridge facility is a really good learning tool um, Jason Hackett and I would have sold our mothers into slavery back in the 1980s for uh, something like BBO's partnership bidding tables because you can set the limits of the hands um, tailor the hands to particularly what you want to practice and then just get on with it and if you can persuade somebody who knows about the system a bit more than you to come and kibitz you and help you um, and I'm I'm always happy to do that uh, then they can tell you if you're going astray um, and they're, they're just such a really good facility um,
So once you know a little bit more about the system, you probably can just persuade somebody else to partner you to, to help mentor you. Um, and uh, it's a really good way of learning. And because the nice thing about, you know, if you if you try and learn two over one, if you if you used to say standard American, there are so many different implementations of two over one um, that you need to sit down and have half an hour's discussion before you can be sure what you're going to play. Whereas because there's a lim fairly limited number of OC people playing OCP, uh, and we all tend to play the same version of the system. Some people do play the complex system, but they always know the simple system and are happy to play that as well. Um, and if you're playing the simple version of OCP, pretty much it's a standard system. And uh, once you once you learn it, or as you're learning it, you're you're not going to be getting a different version depending on who you're practicing with. Okay, I'll mention full disclosure, uh, although it's it's of limited benefit now because most of you are on the browser version of uh, BridgeBase and the support for full disclosure on the browser version is much more limited than it was on the Windows version of BBO. Right, we've got half an hour. Could I please ask four people who are relatively experienced with OCP to sit? Uh, I think maybe John Lute, Esther, Roger, and... Clement, maybe. Uh, if you could sit, if you're happy to. Um, and we'll just try and give people a flavour of a few different hands in OCP. Just bear with me a minute. Esther, you fancy sitting east? Thank you. Okay, let battle commence. I'll try. I'll try and explain what's happening uh, as the bidding goes. And if I ask you to pause, please pause if I need to explain something a bit. But uh, because we're doing it mostly with voice, hopefully I should be able to keep pace with the bidding. Um, just hang on a minute, let me just set the convention cards, guys, and then...
Oh, sugar. Sorry, I've opened the wrong one. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, not, you won't find much support on BBO for full disclosure, Phil. Um, basically, I think Fred's decided to try and phase it out, um, even though he created it in the first place. Uh, essentially, to edit the full disclosure cards, you need something that was in the original Windows distribution file called bidedit.exe. Um, and if you don't have the original distribution file, it's quite difficult to get hold of it now. But you can, I think, download it from the website. I think I've got a link to it. Certainly, anybody who's already got it will be happy to send it to you. OK, because uh, North's got 15 balanced, they can't open one, though, Trump, because it's 10 to 12 at this vulnerability. So they open one diamond. Roger's got a hand worth a bid, so he bids his longest suit. Now, you may think North should be bidding more than two hearts, and they could bid more than two hearts here. But the fact is, unless Roger's got about a 10 count, um, they're probably not going to invite. But given the hand that Roger has, they ought to invite. Okay, Clement, could you lead and can you claim 11 tricks? Four of clubs is fine. It's as good a lead as you're going to get, Clement. Just claim 11 tricks, Roger, if you would. Okay. Um, the only observation I'd make here is that over two hearts we have uh, OCP uses something called Romex trial bids where we can either we can either uh, make a long suit trial bid or ask to make a short suit trial bid and so here Roger could bid two no trumps which would be showing a long suit trial bid in spades two spades wouldn't be showing that two spades would be asking to make a short suit trial bid uh, and if John wanted to allow him to, in fact, he would just bid four hearts um, over either of them. Uh, because he's maximum with seven controls. Um, so if, if South's got the whiff of a, an invitation, North's going to bid four hearts. Um, so South wouldn't actually get to show where their shortage is. Um, but they could ask to do that with two spades, which says that they've got a shortage somewhere. And John doesn't really care where it is. Um, OK, any questions before we move on? Yeah, that would be wrong. Clement. Um, uh, if For those of you that don't know, strong tens basically if you're going to play strong tens basically means that the lead of the 10 is a strong lead so it's either from 10 doubleton 10 singleton or it's 
Uh, you may be right, Michael. Um, but on the other hand, North could be, uh, might have, you know, a fairly lower range hand with three hearts even. And they've decided to um, to bid two hearts because they've got a roughing value somewhere else. They don't have to be maximum. Um, so I think it's reasonable enough for Roger to issue the invitation. After all, if North's got an 11 count, perhaps with a singleton spade, three hearts, four diamonds and five clubs, you don't necessarily want to be in four hearts here. So I think an invitation from South is reasonable. If you were playing two over one, then, you know, that might be slightly different. Um, and like I said, I wouldn't disagree with North bidding three hearts over one heart. Because they're maximum and they've got such good controls. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be more than a three card raise. We have, OCP has no real fear of Moisian fits. South's one heart bid doesn't have to be more than a four card suit. But if North has a roughing value somewhere else, um, then they could potentially bid two hearts rather than bidding something else. Because a lot of the time, partner may only have four, sp four hearts, but they might have five or longer. Um, and if they've got a weak hand with four hearts and they just don't want to play in diamonds, um, it's a way of, of just getting a suit agreement if partner's going to pass two hearts. We, you shouldn't really have any particular fear of playing two hearts um, on a 4-3 fit if you've got roughing values. Something else if you want to play at the sixth level. Um, but initially, um, we don't worry too much about raising on three card fits. Unless we've got something better available, a better way of doing it. Okay, any other questions before we move on? Okay. And you'll see during these sequences that there's more than one way to skin a cat. And so although my particular preference for a particular sequence may be slightly different. Um, no, I don't, I don't mind interference if it's obvious. Um, I'm just, but I'm not, I'm trying to give people a flavor of, of OCP. Um, you know, so perhaps restrain yourself a little bit. But if it's an obvious place to bid, then bid as interference. That's fine. Okay, that's good. Thank you, John, when you're ready. Um, that's a very typical OCP bidding sequence, or precision for that matter. Uh, one no trump in response to one diamond just shows eight to 10 balanced, denies having a four card major. Um, and, and that's a very common sequence. Uh, if East had a a 15 count, they would invite over one no trump. Um, but they wouldn't invite with a 13 count because partner will not be stronger than 10. If they're, if West was 11 plus here, they'd be doing something else other than bidding one no trump. Thank you, Clement. Any questions here? 
So East knows it's not worth showing spades over one no trump because partner will not have four card spades. The one no trump response specifically denies having a four card major. Or longer. Okay. There's no questions. We'll try again. Okay, hopefully you'll see an example of... Uh, something I mentioned before here which is something called motor which is when ops double our major suit opening for takeout no stay stay as you as you are Roger as you are, I know you might open one no trump, but uh, it wasn't going to show. It doesn't doesn't show what I wanted to show here. Okay, so here East has doubled one heart for takeout, and so now all of the responses from one no trump through to two diamonds are all transfers. Um, you can look up motor on the one heart and one page. Uh, on the website but basically Roger is going to bid two clubs here aren't you Roger which is a transfer to diamonds and North will bid two diamonds they don't have to but here they will and now when South bids two hearts that basically shows a decent two heart limit raise but with some kind of a feature control feature in diamonds now that might be a suit with the ace or king or it might even be a shortage what it says is that if east west finish off playing the contract and north is on lead diamonds might be a decent uh, suit to lead either because South may be able to rough it or because South has a, a reasonable holding in that suit um, motor is a really useful facility that uh, OCP has and you can show lots and lots and lots of different kinds of hands over uh, take out doubles including invitational game forcing um, two suited hands and so on so here opposite a two level limit raise north's got no particular interest um, and so we're happy to play in four heart in two hearts rather um, lead away esther claim let's claim nine tricks uh, John okay so that's uh, just a little example of motor um, look it up you can play motor with any system uh, it's really useful any questions anybody very good rattling through these
Okay. While I said I might disagree with some of the sequences, and this is one of them. Um, okay, just lead Esther. Okay, um, claim 11 tricks, John. And I'll talk about this hand in a second, though. Okay, uh, I disagree with one heart here. I think North either has to upgrade this to a one club opener. Or use Namyats and open four clubs, which shows a good four level preempting heart. I don't think with uh, nine top tricks in hearts and the ace of spades, I don't think uh, North can afford to just open one heart. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't quibble about opening it one club, but I think four clubs is. Um, the best opening it's a really good four level preempt in hearts you need one trick basically in either spades or clubs from partner and you are almost certainly going to make four hearts so I don't think you can even if you're going to open it one heart over two diamonds pass pass I would rebid four hearts um, like I said, you only need one trick from partner here. And it almost certainly doesn't have to be hearts. You're quite happy to play opposite a void heart. Do you take my point, John? But there's more than one way to skin a cat. So if you open one, one heart and then rebid four hearts, then that's good enough. But personally, I'd open four clubs or I'd be opening one club. But different people have different styles and different ideas and uh, OCP can accommodate them. But I think here three hearts, even opposite a passed hand, because um, Roger's passed over two diamonds. So three hearts is absolutely top of the range with really good long hearts. At least seven hearts, I would suggest, given South's pass over two diamonds. Um, probably more so really I think I think South could bid four hearts on the basis of the ace of clubs and I mean they've got a lot that they haven't shown yet so personally I would be bidding four hearts with the South hand over three hearts on the basis that partner clearly doesn't care whether I've got any hearts or not and they've obviously got a strong maximum hand. Almost certainly with a diamond shortage, given that I've got four diamonds, South has got four diamonds, and East has overcalled two diamonds. Okay. All right, Major Sue's openings. Uh, are really developed in OCP. Um, you'll see an example of, um, you've seen one already in the example hands earlier, but hopefully uh, you'll see the way that we can get into slam sequences very easily and cheaply over major suit openings when responder has a fit for the major. Earth calling Roger. He falls asleep, you know. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so the forcing no trump in... No bidding sounds. Ah, right, I see what you mean. Okay, so just stop there a second. Well, Roger, you pass if you want. So one no trump is, is a forcing no trump, and it can be a lot of different kinds of hands. Um, two spades is a reverse throwing upper range with four spades and five card or longer hearts. Four. And now three clubs is a relay in the cheapest new suit. So that's an asking bid. So we're immediately, we've agreed hearts and we're looking for slam with three clubs. Three hearts shows a five card heart suit with one top honor. So West knows that the hearts are solid ish. Solid enough anyway. Roger's going to pass again. Aren't you, Roger? So now three spades is another relay, which will be... Um, three spades will be asking how many controls East had. Clements decided to ignore that, not ignore it, but to bypass that. No, it's all right, Clement. If you want to bid four clubs, that's fine. Um, it's up to you. If you want to bid four clubs rather than three spades, that's fine. You know, there's nothing says you have to use, nothing says you have to use beta. But you know, I mean, East West knows that East is upper range. And it's quite difficult to construct. Um, so four hearts, a four step response that shows five controls. So that's an ace and two aces and a king or an ace and three kings. Um, yes, OK. All righty. Um, lead away, Roger. Okay, um, claim. Claim 11 tricks. Um, oh, well, it's a good stop, this, I have to say. Um, Although on a club lead from, from Roger, you're probably going to make 12. Um, on a trump lead, you probably aren't. Except you can establish the diamonds for a club discard. So no, in practice, you're going to make 12 tricks here regardless. On a club lead, the... Okay, thanks, Clement. Thanks for sitting. Um, who else is the? Mm, nobody at the moment. I'll I'll sit. Uh, I with a with a sixteen count in West opposite a hand worth a reverse. 
I have to say I would be bidding over four hearts. Um, I'd be bidding five clubs to check on the club situation. East would bid six diamonds to show first and third round control of clubs. Uh, and now I would just bid six hearts. On a balance of probabilities. Um, yeah, Liz, Lizette, you want to play? I was trying not to put people on the spot if they weren't really experienced with the system. Um, if anybody else wants to sit and fancies it, then please shout up. Because I'm quite happy. Okay. Sorry, Liz, I didn't actually even notice you there. Have a seat. Yep. Well, come on, come on, somebody, anyway. Okay, so with 16 opposite, a hand worth a reverse, I'd be pushing on over four hearts. Um... But uh, there are plenty of hands where, you know, give north the diamond length and you've got too much work to do, especially if there's not a nice 2-2 two -two heart split. Anybody got any questions here? So at this stage, at four hearts, we'd agreed hearts and... We know that we're missing an ace or two kings on this hand. Um, I'd want to be in six hearts on the west hand and I'd be pushing for it. But different folks have different strokes. John, probably the last hand coming up because uh, it's midnight now near enough. Just We'll just try one more. The time had slipped away. Okay, so one club is 16 plus with almost any distribution. The only uh, ones that it won't be is 4441. One spade shows eight plus balanced. We swap around. OCP swaps around the one spade and the one no trump response. So one no trump shows five card spades and is game forcing. And one spade shows eight plus balanced. Um, uh, there's an ongoing discussion in the forum about the pros and cons of transfer responses. Um, So here, Rogers, one no trump, is asking how many controls North has. And it also gives South the opportunity to bag the declarership if we're going to end up in a no trump contract. Pretty much, unless you're playing... I think most versions of Super Precision, John, will have that, so I wouldn't make that claim, but... Super precision is pretty much the only place where you start asking for aces at the one level. <laughs> okay, so two spades shows five controls, which is an ace and three kings, or two aces and a king. Must be one of those two. So immediately, Roger's starting to get an idea of how far this hand is likely to go. So now Roger is going to bid two no trumps, which is um, 
a special bid that basically abandons asking bids and it means that we revert to natural bidding and basically it asks North to start bidding their suits upwards at the three level to try and find a fit. So Roger will now bid three hearts to show their hearts. And John will bid. Um, John could do lots of these. He could just bid four hearts. Um, but he could, for example, bid four diamonds, which would be a cubid agreeing hearts. He could even bid four. No, he wouldn't bid four clubs because um, that would be agreeing clubs. But uh, um, four diamonds would be a cubid agreeing hearts because John showed a balanced hand so he can't now suddenly have some massive minor two suitor so four diamonds would have to be agreeing hearts but given that uh, South knows that that North has five controls and we know that we've got a double fit in clubs and hearts it's probably worth a push over four hearts. So, um, okay. <laughs> six no trumps works for me. Six clubs, six hearts, six no trumps are all going to make here. So well done, Roger. As long as uh, as long as you're going to end up in something at the six level, it's fine. No, well you can do, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, if North bids four diamonds, then. Uh, that's a cubit agreeing heart, so Roger would bid four spades. Uh, North would bid four no trumps, which is encouraging, but denying the ace of clubs. South would bid five clubs. North would bid five diamonds, showing a king of diamonds. And now uh, Roger pretty much knows exactly what North has. They haven't got the ace of spades. They've got the ace, king of diamonds, the king of hearts, and the king of clubs. Um, and they can then just bid six no trumps, or six hearts, or six clubs even. But probably six hearts or six no trumps, since uh, hearts is what's been specifically agreed. So six clubs might be confusing. Any questions, anybody? Okay. So, so for those of you who are determined to learn OCP, please have a look on the website at Major Suit Openings at the One Heart and One Spade pages between now and next Saturday. And so, hopefully, you'll you'll have read up a little bit on what I'm going to be covering. Uh, if you haven't already got if you haven't already got AA Bridge, please go to Roger's site. Um, uh, please have a look at Roger's site and download AA Bridge. Um, there's new versions of it that come out fairly regularly, and that's an absolutely invaluable tool. Um, indeed, I would say it's probably more valuable than full disclosure now, especially given that uh, the support for full disclosure in the browser version is very limited. Um, a Bridge has, has really eclipsed full disclosure as a learning tool for OCP. 
so please go and grab it if you haven't already got it have a look at the video on YouTube if you've missed something part of the lesson say and uh, hopefully I'll see you all next Saturday so thanks for coming guys and uh, we'll see you soon bye for now